I want to do a little follow-up to the last video. It was getting a little bit on the long side and I was having issues staying on my paper. So I'm going to come back and revisit a problem and give you guys a little bit of uh, guidance on what to do next in your own study. So we had a region of integration. Um, looks like this shaded region, this triangle, and developed the double integral um, dy dx, a function that's not been provided to us. So that means we don't have to integrate it either. And from left to right, our x equals boundaries went from 0 to 20. And the y equals boundaries went from this line to the top boundary of y equals 10. y equals 10 being constant and the line varying in its y values. So what if we were to, for this problem, switch the order of the integration? What if we were to switch the order? What if I were to want to write this integral f of x, but write it as dx dy, taking what we've been working on the last a uh, couple of videos where we know that the last integration that happens must be constant so that at the very end we get a number out. So how would we look at this? Well, again, it may not be exactly the way the book writes it, but the book um, writes it in a technical way that has to be written correctly and doesn't have the benefit of interaction. So let me just show you the way I look at this, visually speaking, um, I think of this in terms of um, if y is going to be over here, you know, I'm going to think of this from low to high, from bottom to top, so to speak. And in this particular graph, the y values go from 0 to 10. Now the x values... Let me just draw it again. In every one of these, as we go left to right, the y-axis is the left boundary. And I know this is not an equation, but I'm just going to call it y-axis as a placeholder. And then the line that we were looking at is the right-hand boundaries. So again, that's not an actual equation. But what I know is I need to write these in the form of x equals. Well, the y-axis equation is x is 0. And the lines equation, well, I haven't found it yet. y equaled 1 half x was the equation of the line. If we solve for x, well, that's right. x is 2y. That is what's going to go here. And these are just me writing out in a matching my picture sort of way. Let's go to the double integral. Our y constants are from 0 to 10. And our x boundaries are from x equals 0 to x equals 2y. As long as this description matches the same region of integration, then these two integrals will yield same values. Now, why would we want to be able to switch? Well, we'll get into that a little bit later in more videos, but one of the big reasons is, is that one of the integration orders may be harder than the other, but we have to see an example for that to make sense. Now, your to-do list. Besides reading and practicing problems, you should definitely be integrating in our books 14.1, but I want you to sketch the region of integration for some problems. This is the single biggest skill for the, the chapter in terms of you have to cross this in order to set up any integral. Problems 12, 14, 16, 18, and number 42. All you're going to do is sketch the region, which you actually have to do this for all of our unit assignment problems. 
Um, my students, I'll post solutions on our Canvas page to what these regions look like. You won't find those in the solution manual because that's not what the directions for the problems are. This is our direction for the problems. All right, have a good one.